the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Louisville's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Seven-yard play. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. Just a mental lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still second down. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. Brought down around the 40-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 40. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at about the 49. So the scramble goes for nine yards. That brings in second and nine. Larry, Larry, Larry. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he is drilled at the 36. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He'll take it from the 18. He's pushed out of bounds at the 27 yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack that in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. He steps off the 37-yard line. Illegal, Illegal touching. touching. Offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, Still and they're shooting that. themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. The penalty digs them a big hole with third and long. Zips it to the back. They'll drop in for a loss. Loss of two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. That makes it fourth and long. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He really got a hold of that one. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Notre Dame's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. 
Gets it out quickly. Tackle at the 32-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First down. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Scrambles. He's taken down around the 23-yard line. So the quarterback picks up about eight on the scramble. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Big defensive line got such a good push on that play. That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the six yard line. They go with a run and he brought down in the backfield. on the run and he's gonna run this one in touchdown he splits the uprights with the extra point a seven play 52 yard drive and it's good for seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our school, seven nothing. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They'll run it. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. That is a loss of three yards away. That'll, That'll bring, bring up second, second and 11. From their own 36-yard line. It's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. Five wide. Quick strike, and he drops it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. They'll go ground. And down he goes at about the 45. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Cardinals lead 7 0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Four down, four down. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Get 
He's got an opening. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. in and scoops up the fumble. It's not like receivers don't practice hanging on to the ball all week. This is just a case of the defense creating a turnover. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Louisville, up seven points. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Makes the first down catch. And he's tackled right away. That makes it first and ten. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to fight the 48 right now. Let's go. Fires out to his receiver. And he hits him hard at the 41. That's a gain of 12. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. He's at midfield, and he's tackled at the 48-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Going for it all to the end zone. The defender had it and then dropped it. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. Put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Again with the run, brought down in the open field. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Under heavy pressure. He wants it all going long. Complete. It's the junior. Oh! And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one on one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there. And he hits the PAT. It was a seven-play, 84-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ball game. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 22. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Sit up. Down. Blue seven. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Call it a loss of 50 yards on the play. That makes it third and 15. Strip the ball. Strip that ball. Mike two. Mike two. And he's going to be sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. After the sack, it's now fourth and long.
He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 44-yard line. Louisville's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly, stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Going deep. Incomplete. The deflection prevented them from getting any yards, and now it's fourth down. That'll make it fourth and ten. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And this one is a beauty. Talk about a booming punt, my goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. Makes it to the 15-yard line. Call it a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. That'll bring up third and four. to the wideout, first down. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. Got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Looking for his man, incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. Fight two, fight two. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Complete to the halfback over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 49. That'll be a two yard gain. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. He 
He's at the 40. Brought down at the 38-yard line. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 14-0, Louisville. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The halftime lead is not insurmountable for this squad. You know, there are a lot of times when you watch the first half of the game and you start talking about mental toughness and, and energy and effort and all of those types of things. You get the sense this is more of an X and O deal for the coaches. A couple of minor adjustments that could really change the game in the second half. Yeah, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it's broke, it needs to be fixed. And there's some things that you definitely see offensive and defensively that these teams need to be sharper. They need to be crisper. They need to find an edge. Maybe they need to go more up-tempo. Maybe they need to pass the football a little bit more. Defensively, maybe you need to be a little bit more aggressive. This is, this is one of those things where coaches have to feel out. They have the feeling out process. They have to feel what you do well, what you're not doing well. Sometimes you need to completely go in a different direction. You're down two scores. Something good has to happen. You need to change what you've been doing because it hasn't worked. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Louisville's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. On the throw, incomplete pass. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Taken down at the 37. Come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. Larry, Larry. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Guys, it's He might have a chance. He's at midfield. Tackle at the 39-yard line. Wow, that was some run. It's worth the price of admission just to see this guy get into the open field. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Mike two, Mike Defensive two. coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Got a man, watch out here. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Throws it in a hurry. He's still going, and that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it 
first and goal. Got his receiver, touchdown. So this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice 10 play, 75 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 14-7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Louisville is up by a touchdown. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle made at the 37-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. Complete. He's got room. And down he goes. Right around the 46-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. That's about a two-yard gain on the run by the halfback. This halfback showed great fight there on the counter play. He knew just how far he had to go to pick up the first down from their own 48-yard line. First down. Just throws this one away. He chucks it downfield. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to the 48 right now. Call the game six yards. That'll bring up second and three. Louisville is up seven. There's a fumble. Picks up the loose ball. I tell you, when the option works, it can be beautiful to watch. But when it doesn't, it can go horribly wrong. Not a good result for the offense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, After review of the play, play, the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to mic the 48. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Louisville can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. 
and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Louisville's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Four yards there on the scramble. prepared defense. They know where to be, and they know what their opponent likes to do. They play tight coverage as well. It's second and ten. Ball on the 46. It's scooped up. They nearly go all the way. But that thing was going on and was able to recover the football. down now and they need to get it down to the 36. Try to change the field position with his kick. And here's the wait a minute, the up back's got it. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. In possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. And they make the stop at the 50-yard line. From midfield, second down. Tackle around the 42 yard line. Number line. That'll make it 31. So, with one quarter remaining. The Cardinals lead 17-7. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. This is what they have. A stop by their defense just to give them a chance. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Enzo for a fumble in offense's last drive. Let's see as they. Football is about how you respond to moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example. Caught everybody was fooled on that. Because a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. He goes out of bounds. The 
And he shoved out of bounds around the 39-yard line. That makes us third and three. With the catch and knocked out of bounds. He's out of bounds around the 46 yard line. yards away here on third down. Empty back in the goal. Wide receivers. Fires quick. He's got another one. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. They're out on an empty back. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he hits him hard at the 25. Bring him down in the backfield. No game. That makes it second and ten. He's scrambling. And he's level at the 14. Less than three minutes in the game. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want. Under heavy pressure. Got his tight end touchdown. down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he hits the PAT. Notre Dame lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Brad, at this point, this defense has to do everything in their power to try to strip that ball away to get the ball back to their own offense to see if they can get a chance to win this game. Got an opening. Brought down at the 42. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, look on my Right now, let's go. Yellow 87. Set. Carries the ball for a nice game. A gain of about four yards on the draw. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 46. Just under two minutes in the game. He makes it to the 48-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Notre Dame's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And he 
he's taken down at the 48-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. It might not seem like much, but there's still more than enough time to get the ball into scoring position. The defense is going to have to make some more plays here. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Louisville's been on fire here in the fourth quarter. They could have used some of this in the first three. Yeah, where was this in the first half? It would have given them a chance to be able to win this game and pull away. Now, they got to hope that they can make a play late to win it. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now, the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle at about the 49. They'll get six yards. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. And he stops the clock with a spike. From the 49-yard line. It's third down. Four down, four down. 85, I'm coming for you. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. That makes it fourth and 12. Get in the white room. Get in the white room. Mike two, Mike two. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Just over a minute left. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Three down, three down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll bring up third and six. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. 17-14, Cardinal. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.